Hey everyone, I'm back. Yes, I look a little ugh. And I am wearing my Cowboys jersey because we won our game against the Giants last night, so yay. Um, very let down with our first game of the season, which was against the Carolina Panthers. But well, we've got time. It's only the beginning of the season. Yeah, my hair looks a mess. But as I told you in my last video that I was ordering three things from Funko, a blind box and two pop figures. The blind box, as you know, I've been getting the Harry Potter blind boxes, and the two of them came from Target, and one came from Barnes & Nobles. This one came from Walmart, but I got it online because, really, Walmart has very little selection of pop figures, at, at least at the Walmarts near me. So, you could have gotten... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two. Fourteen different ones. Um, the most popular ones you could get was Ron, Harry, or Snape. Then it would be a dragon or Hermione or another creature. But, like, these are all the creatures you can get in people use. Oh, my lord, sorry. As I move my arm. The desk moved. Um, you can get Bellatrix, a Grindelo, one of the little mer people, a Dementor, Snape, Lupin, Luna, um, Harry, Ron, Hermione, a Cornish Pixie, an Owl. Those, I can't remember what they are, but you see them if you've seen Death. Um, anyway, the one I got is one of the rare ones. It's in one in every 36 you get these. I got... And at first I was like, ugh, this is creepy, but I was like, wait a minute, I know what this is. I got a Grindelo, which honestly is, they, I feel like Funko makes their things so much cuter than the actual things, because the little Grindelos in the Harry Potter movie was, they were creepy. Like, I looked this up to, before I made the video to make sure that this was the Grindelo and not that little mer person, but this in fact is the Grindelow. This is one of the rare ones you can get. This one is in one in every 36 boxes. The Mer Person is one in every 72 boxes. Um, Lupin is in one in every 36 box. Um, and then the Dementor, Bellatrix, and Luna are the other rare ones, along with the Cornish Pixie. The other ones are more common, but this is one of like the there's like seven ones that are ordinary and like seven that are rare. This is one of the seven that are rare, which like the detail on this is really cool. So I'm going to put that up with my other Harry Potter ones. I can probably throw this box away now. Odds are I'm not going to do anything with it. I think this was series two because they have like, I think they have up to four series of the Harry Potter blind mystery boxes or mystery minis as they're called. This is from series two. My one is from series three, and I think my other one's from series four. I don't know. But, okay, so the pop figures. I told you one was from the Strawberry Shortcake Collection and one was Disney. So, I'm gonna go with the Disney one. As I slide it under so you couldn't see. Um, Walmart had a pretty good deal going on on pop figures. Um, both pop figures I got for like $7 and even at Target you can get one pop figure for like 7 or 8 So the fact that I got two, that's pretty cool. So it's actually one of the newer Disney pops that they came out with like, I think in this year. I just can't remember if it was spring or summer. Sorry, I'm really thirsty. But it is one from Emperor's New Groove. And I got Yzma! It's so cool. Like, I had been wanting her, but, like, everywhere I had been going, she had been, like, super, like, not super high in price, like, the normal pop figure price, like, like, 12 to 15, some places had her for 9. Walmart had her for $2. So, and, like, look at the detail on her. She's got the potion, she's got, like, all of her little wrinkles, and, yeah, and I can just hear her doing the pull the lever, crunk, crunk, liver. I'm not even attempting to do an impression because last time I did an impression, 
Um, I did the donkey impression from Shrek, and someone that I know who watched the video was like, yeah, you just failed that impression. So I'm going to stop my impressions. But I think this one is which made in China. So some pop figures are made in Vietnam, while others are made in China. Apparently, you can tell if they're made in China versus if they're made in Vietnam by the paint quality. I don't know. I mean, I only personally have one that's made in Vietnam, which is my bobblehead Bob Ross Deadpool. But this one, along with the rest of mine, are made in China. Unless my next one that I'm going to show you is made in Vietnam. But I don't think the one, the strawberry shortcake one that I have, the meringue, is made in Vietnam. But anyway, this is Yzma. She will probably... I don't know where I'm going to put her because I am running out of room. And my next one from the Strawberry Shortcake line is Blueberry Muffin and Cheesecake. And as I said in my last video when I got the Lemon Meringue and Frappe one, the, all the Strawberry Shortcake pop figures are scented. There, this one was not as scented as the Lemon Meringue one. I don't know if it had... It's because this one was at Walmart longer than at the other one being at Barnes & Noble. But this one doesn't have as strong of a blueberry scent, but it still smells good. They're like the old time strawberry shortcakes. They smell, they smell really good. So here's blueberry muffin. This one is made in China, so this, these are made in China as well, which I think they did a good paint job. So here's blueberry muffin in a little outfit. I actually used to have my mom buy me the old time strawberry shortcakes off of ebay because i liked them better than the early 2000s ones oh even the little cheesecake the mouse guy smells too but oh i thought literally they were the same color at first i was about to say um i got the same animal but they smell really good i kind of have an area where my strawberry shortcake ones are going which is like on this little sign on my desk so i'm going to show that off in a second because now I have lemon meringue and blueberry muffin, which there are only three more that I need out of that set, which is strawberry shortcake, orange blossom, and one that I will be getting no matter what, whether I get strawberry shortcake or orange blossom, I will be getting purple pie man, because purple pie man was one of my favorites. I also need to get the rest of the Emperor's New Groove set, because that was one of my favorite Disney movies. Oh, they're talking about one of the Disney treasures boxes. Those are expensive, but I really want them. So i got to figure out where I'm going to put Yzma. I'll show you where I put my um, strawberry shortcake ones. Here they are. Ignore the little mess on my desk. There's um, lemon meringue and frappe, and there's cheesecake and blueberry muffin. So hopefully my desk kind of smells good. And yes, I have a Halloween decoration up. That's pretty much all. Yeah, ignore my desk. It's a little messy. Um, oh, sorry. I keep. I really need to learn how to edit these videos because it'll just like, blech, it'll make my life a lot easier. So I kind of need to figure out where I'm gonna put her. Most of my Disney, pop I only have what five Disney pops. And they all are with a set. She's like the only Disney pop that I have that doesn't have someone to already go with. So I kind of need to just put her like in her own little La La Land area. Like, I don't know, maybe I'll put her in front of everybody on my one shelf. But like, or maybe I'll just leave her on my desk. I don't know. But we'll have to figure a place for Yzma. We'll figure it out. But other than that, um, that's what I got from there. I have gotten more samples in the mail, but I haven't gotten enough to do like a full sample video. And I don't want to add it to this video. I just wanted this to be mainly like pop figures and like little mystery minis. But hopefully I will be getting more pop figures and mystery minis soon. Um, I do know that my one friend already told me that she got one gift for me already, and that it is a pop figure. She won't tell me what it is, but I have a feeling it is one I've been wanting. I don't... I just have a strange feeling she got me one of the Friends Pops, because her and I have a weird obsession with Friends. Like, like 
she's Chandler and I'm Joey. It's like, and my mom's like, why aren't you guys like Monica and Rachel? I'm like, because Joey and Chandler, no offense to like Monica and Rachel to Courtney Cox and Jennifer Aniston, but Joey and Chandler made that show. I'm sorry. They were like the two best characters on there. So, besides that, so that's, I know I'm getting one pop figure definite for my birthday. I don't know if I'm getting any other ones. Usually my other friend gets me like a pop keychain. Sometimes she'll get regular pop figures, but all my friends know I love pop figures and I collect a ton of them. And I was thinking about like asking my friend who has pop figures to share her collection with me so I could show you guys what pop figures she collects cuz why not I know I make weird varieties of videos I do samples that I get in the mail I do pop figures I do school based stuff which I may do like a studying video on like how to study for certain classes in college because even myself I'm in my third year of college which I'm gonna be there not Four, I'm going to be there about five years of college instead of four just because of non-credit classes I had to take so trust me I'm there I'm still learning techniques on how to study but I figured I could share some tips with you guys if you want to know I did take a poll on my Instagram page asking like what kind of stuff do you want to see on my YouTube channel and I got more people wanted to see like studying and school technique stuff and then like the others wanted to see like makeup and beauty and fashion so I'm gonna do a little mixture of both so that's what you can kinda see in the future besides my normal um, freebie stuff and whenever Walmart brings out their fall beauty box the unboxings um, and my shopping hauls and maybe I will finally do a makeup tutorial as I've been saying I was going to but I figure that's just going to look a mess. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a video. I'm sorry that I it was a little short and just mainly me talking. I just figured I wanted to make it because I did get more stuff for my collection. And hopefully I will be getting more stuff for the pop collection. But honestly, I don't know where I'm going to put it. I'm really starting to think I'm going to have to put up a shelf that I used to have in my room. I'm going to have to put it like here because where I used to have it was where my desk was, now my desk's taller, and uh, either that or I'm going to have to not get any more pop figures, and that's not going to happen. To think I used to only have three pop figures and they sat on my dresser. Now I have about 30 and they are filling up my shelves on my desk. So, anyway, hope you liked this video. If you did, give that like button a thumbs up or like that whatever you know hit the like button thumbs up thing um if you want to leave a comment leave a comment down below future video ideas you have for me um um what pop figures do you think i should add to my collection what pop figure do you think my friend got me from the friends pop figure collection if it is the friends pop figure or if you think it's a different pop figure leave that in the comment below if you're not already subscribed subscribe um and i hope you all have a great day and if you are looking for pops for a cheaper price check walmart.com they've got cheaper ones along with barnes and noble and target they are the top three for like cheaper pops whereas like fye and Hot Topic are a little more pricier. But anyway, I hope you have a great day. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you later. Bye!